Hi everyone, today in Wicked, I'm back with the tutorial of Sitzel 2016. Today I'm gonna show you how to create or how to use dynamic tables. So here I have an example. Uh, this is just a name. This is the filter one that I'm gonna use to show you some application. And these are the values that I want to. To, uh, to explain you later how to put it in the dynamic table so I'm gonna do two filters the first one will be the filter one and the second one will be the date so let's start and select all the table you can use control cheese chip and to the right and down so after you have selected all the table you go to insert then go to table table are you okay and here we are now in another worksheet with uh, with the table table so let's start with the filter one and I use the filter one you see here the filter columns row value so let's start with value one I'm gonna put it here and on the left in the road I wanna put only the name in this case is node so as you see in here it automatically select the sum of the value one so what it's doing is selecting all the column one that have the name stp0001 and doing the sum so if we go to here so let the whole column you will give us the same value as you see here down some is a nine two six zero six eight that fifty nine here we have the same value right so also if you like to change this for another thing could be the maximum value the minimum value the average value you just go here to the right the value click here left click they go to value field settings then you select whatever you want let's select the maximum value so the maximum value is this one okay now let's do a filter the filter in this column filter one we have different values and these values go from one to nine so it's just one zoom the the one that have one you click one so my maximum value for the one is zero but let's see nine okay nine is ninety seven thousand seventy nine and uh, let's go to five zero four zero three zero one three zero okay so in this case okay my eight have a value but let's put another column column number two column number three you see this is the maximum this is the sum so also you can have let's take to take off this you select a right a left click and remove the field or just grab the value and drop it and the tail on the other boss up that is up so for example you want the two values the maximum the minimum so you go and grab value one again and put it in the field the values and then you can click here value field settings you go to minimum you click minimum okay you have that so let's go 9, minimum, maximum, that's okay, you want the average, you select again the value 1, drop it there, and go clear, left click, value, field, average, okay, this is for this, but uh, for example, you wanna have a graph with the date, in this case, I gonna click on date and put it in the, in the row, and I'm gonna select now insert 
graph. You go to graph. And here, char. And select the line. And here we have our graph. If you change the filter to 8, it will automatically change the table and the graph and the chart. And you see there, changing. So for mistake or because you click here and close the Pivot table fields on the right. To open it, you can go to the table. You click on the table, whatever you want. Then right click and then here you select value field settings. Okay, so it does not um, show details, Bible table, ocean, show field list. That's the one. Okay, but uh, now let's say you want a filter for by date. So you go, you grab date, put it in filter. Now you can select the day here. And you can put the filter one, you can put it down. And so you have here, for one side you have all the filter. Now we have only filter for date, and now we have in the row the filter column one, this one. I hope uh, you like these videos, it's helpful for you, if you like it, please share it, give it a like, bye bye, this whole, I will continue with more videos, uh, put it in the comments, the video maybe you want me to do, and I will do it, thank you.